I sit here with Nick Starr. Finally. Finally. <laughs> finally. Got there. A champion. It took forever, but I got there. Took you only took you six months. Basically. And, and and six months and like seven events. Yeah, and then the last and two of them I went five oh two in the Swiss. <laughs> and then got got trounced. And then got trounced in the finals <laughs> last month. So it was great. Yeah. I mean, that red deck was it was something. It was it, that is a word for it, yes. Yes. It's something. <laughs> Thank God that guy I just played never drew a goif. <laughs> oh my God! Never drew anything. Right? And you, you just never, you didn't have path for it the vast majority of the time. No. So he took the snapcaster for the one path I had. That was it. Yeah, but yeah, that that was that was definitely like probably one of the best games of the other day. Just watching that, watching that Geist just sail in over and over again. Geist does work. No one else believes me. It does. It it, it does certainly work. does. It 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 is very strong in the right matchups. It is. I actually got to cast Karanos today. Mm. That hasn't happened in like three months. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what happened in your top four matchup? We didn't have it on camera. In my top four matchup, I got to play against Cheerios. Mm. And honestly, game one, I killed everything. It's a decent matchup for my deck because you're playing so much burn removal between Path, Bolt, Helix. I have an Electrolyze. I have counter spells. So his game doesn't really kick off yeah. unless he can get a huge paradoxical outcome or have one of his dudes in play. Yeah, he really needs to sneak under you. He's really got to get in there. And it, and he had a window where I didn't have anything and just played Geist to put a clock in. And he didn't draw one of his dudes because I'd already killed three of them. Yeah. So that was basically what happened. Game two was a little closer because he sides in silence. So he tries just to prison lock you out. Yeah. And and at that point, I'd already had enough stuff in play that when he had to go for it, a couple counter spells and burn sealed that one up. Makes so sense. that one worked out. But that game was both all of my top eight matches were for the most part two O's. I think I lost. Yeah, this I think, was uh, I was I was talking about it on stream is that like sometimes you just have a tournament where it is just your tournament where there is just no way you can possibly that you just feel like there's no way you can lose and you don't. Honestly, this one I did better than the last one because this time I only lost two games. That's was a pretty good tournament. <laughs> Someone, Tim Tonelli, one of the guys who won the first one, basically told me last month, you should just play Magic and not lose. So I'm trying really hard to follow that advice. <laughs> it's good advice. It's good advice, and it's worked out. Honestly, my so, side So board, your record for this tournament was 20-2. and two. Yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. I 2-0'd rounds 1 through 3. Drew, uh, lost game 1 to the two blue-white control decks in 4 and 5. Mm. Then beat them, drew the last two, and then 2 0 every successive roundup in the finals. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was a good tournament. So, a solid tournament. It was nice. Geist of St. Traft is my favorite card by far. And, and it will continue to be And it will continue card. to be my favorite card <laughs> until people play Collective Company a lot more. Hmm. And then I'll play something else. <laughs> Probably something a lot worse. But. <laughs> While, while no one is playing Collected Company, I will continue to run this thing home. It's weird, too. There was actually a lot of Collected Company in the room. You just managed to dodge it over played the course one. of the, the day, yeah, for the most part. I played one, and he never drew a Collected Company. Mm -hmm. It was strange, because you would think, because most people are playing the Collected Company decks because they have a good uh, Grixis Shadow matchup, but those people, there was basically no Grixis Shadow in the room. There was like two or three decks, which is not... I think they're all at the invitation, to be honest with you. Yeah, that would like, make sense. He was the only Shadow, my top eight opponent was the only Shadow player I played all day. Mm. And on average, most of the time I've been here, there's at least two that I've gone up against in the six or seven rounds, plus the top eight. Yeah. I've had to play one almost every week. Yeah, this was a strange tournament, because it's uh, we're running into sync with the Invitational, which is taking a lot of players away, but it, we still hit 82, our largest numbers yet. I did not know that. Oh yeah. But yeah, there was but it was a it was a fun tournament. I honestly really enjoy coming here because it's always modern. It's the one format I really enjoy at the moment. And you can't find that that often. Yeah, it's, so. it's the one format that really honestly that the only constructed format that I feel matters anymore. Because standard is a is a nightmare right now. It's it's, it's just it's it's chaos. Yeah, it's it's absolute chaos. Um Wizards is just and uh, Legacy, I, I'm just not a huge Legacy fan. I, I like I my Legacy it, deck. I, I do it, enjoy it, but it's it's very rare that I get to go out and play it. Mm -hmm. Like this is the one big event, usually a month that I can go to. I, I don't li I like the power level, but I don't like the degeneracy. I don't like. Well, that's the, what's fun. I don't like the idea of losing on turn turn zero. You know. Play Force of Will. But sometimes you don't that's have Force the, of Will. Well, then you lose. 
Okay. And that's and that's what happens. What a, what if, a shitty card if, game. If you if you get blown <laughs> out, then that just happens. Like it, it's part of magic. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, if that Cheerios guy has had his way, there was a game he kept no lands. But between his what he was doing, if he'd gone off, if he'd had like a one lander, he could have probably killed me on turn one if he'd really wanted to. True. So, you know, you take, you take it and le take it or leave it. Mm. But, I mean, I really enjoy modern. You can play just about anything you want. This deck has been my baby for years. It's it is it is certainly a deck, and it's certainly a lot. But you you certainly turn turned me around on it. Uh, like walking into this tournament, I've seen you around with that deck, and every time I've seen you, I'm like, I just think to myself, man, it's a man who can never leave 2014. I can't. But I can't. But so. but, but you like this, this this tournament is definitive proof that that in the right hands, this deck the, deck is the guys good. can just demolish a field. Honestly, he's the only Liliana in the Veil I had to play against all day. And that last play was basically like, okay, I drew Geist. I can't let this thing stay at least higher than two, so bolt it, play it. I mean, if you've got a way to kill the Geist of St. Trapped, I'm dead anyway. Yeah. So there are points where you just have to know when to all in with it. Mm. There are points where you get to play it a lot safer than you would normally want to. But people forget that Geist of St. Trapped, Restoration Angel, they forget that those cards still exist and that they can still do a lot. Yeah. So And the interaction between the two of them is, can be completely insane for the tempo advantage of putting, yeah. putting through damage. It really is. And honestly, like I told Zach last month, you really just need a good hit or two with the Geist of St. Traft. And I mean, it's not even the Geist that gets in, it's the Angel. Yeah. As long as that Angel gets in between someone going like Fetch, Shock, Thought Sees You, something along those lines. Yeah. As long as the angel gets in once or twice, the game is over. Yeah, the game can e quite easily be finished it, out by snaps and bolts and helixes. And honestly, I was talking to the Grixis Shadow guy, and he told his opponent in Vegas when he was doing a test run of Grixis Shadow, and someone bolt snap bolted him out, and he was like, I forgot people still do that. <laughs> so it's, it's a really good deck. I recommend this deck to people. If you put in the time and effort with it, you can honestly just crush a lot of people i mean i'm still trying to figure out a way that collected company is like a good match mm -hmm. but you know there are some decks like a lot of decks like collected company in general just folds to tron so there are some decks where you just know that it's a bad matchup and you just hope you don't run into it yeah that's that is that is i think the best part of competitive modern is just you just play your deck and you you maximize your your good matchups and you you don't really you don't uh, try too hard on your worst matchups. You just play your deck, and honestly, in the right I, field, you run through it. Honestly, in a collected company, I'm really hoping to play the combo, and I've got two anger of the gods in my sideboard, and that's it. Like that's that's all the hate I bring to the field for that, and I just hope it's enough. Yeah. But other than that, I feel like I have a good matchup against probably about 80 percent of the field right now. Makes sense. All right. Well. I will see you in the finals at the end of the year. Oh, I can't wait. Players' Championship. Or our Players' Championship. But, yeah. but that'll be fun. I have finally got my invite. I thought I had it last week, but I lost to the Mono Red Prison. But I finally got there, got my mat, got my guys to St. Traps. Life is good. All right? Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> all right. Well, see you all next month and at the end of the month at the Titanium Plus Series. Can't wait. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. So much money. So much money. <laughs>